All right, so this is part two of the Bloom tour. Um, I'm going to be showing you now how to customize your actual website. So this is the button that you would click to be able to customize what your customers are going to see, like all of these pictures, buttons, wording, um, and then the tabs at the top here, as well as the black bar, um, and then even these here. So your entire site is customizable, and um, this is how you do it. So you'll just click on website, the main menu, this my main menu, these you'll be able to add here. So create a new page. What that will do is it will create these tabs here. So on a mobile device, you're not going to have those clickable tabs at the top, but what you'll see is these at the bottom on the mobile. So when we go back here, you'll be able to click on home. This one is just your automatic one. And you'll have all of these widgets on the side that you can drag and drop over here. And this is where you'll be able to customize things. So you can go in here and you can add words, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what, okay, shop all the, I don't want to change anything. <laughs> um, so you can drag and drop it. See how I'm dragging? You can see the gray pop up. That's how you will be able to add things in here. When you want to delete something, you can X out of it over here or you can move it up and down and around. You can change the wording on these buttons and you can edit the link of where you want it to link to. So you can hyperlink it over here. Um, let's see what else. You can't change the colors, unfortunately, of these, but um, you have all of these different options. And I'm working on, or I've suggested them to add additional. Um, you can even upload videos too, which I haven't done yet, but it's an option. So play around with what you can do in here. Um, you can't change the colors, but I'm hoping that they'll add some more options so that we can change colors and stuff. Uh, this picture is what you saw at the top here, my picture. So you'll be able to pick your own picture, crop it, move it, adjust it, do all of those things, and even link it so if they click the picture, they can be directed somewhere. So we'll go back to the website, and you can actually, if you click on this button, it'll show you what your website looks like. So as you edit, you can click over here and see what it looks like to the customer to make sure that it looks all right. So I have a shop button, a size chart, a join, and a VIVIP. So depending on what you want to put in there, I mean, you can go to my website, shopallthethings.com, and you can click around and see how I have my tabs set up. The black bar tool, so this is what you see up here. The contact me, shipping and returns, well, these ones are just your account, but this is what your customers will see. Contact me, shipping and returns. That is the black bar tool, contact me, shipping and returns. So depending on what you want to put up there, contact me will already be up there, um, but you can add one. So I have shipping and returns up at the top there. The news items, now this is where you can create a new one. It'll have, a, it'll cycle through them. It'll cycle through them if you have more than one and it'll blink up here at the top. So if they click on it, it'll link them to whatever you want them to see. So if you click on mine, this is what, when you go in and edit, all of these charts will be, will be like this. And you can customize it with the same widgets that you saw on the home page. And I have it linked. So if you hit my holiday collection link, it'll go to my holiday collection party link. Um, yeah, so I think that is it. The news items black bar, and your tabs. So that is how you customize your website.